Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's get into it. We are going to be making some lentil soup. Now this recipe is titled the best lentil soup recipe. It's from the Cookie and Kate blog. So I am going to try it out. For this recipe, we need a quarter cup of olive oil. I know that sounds like a lot, but she says it's necessary. One onion that's diced, two carrots, some garlic, but my garlic isn't doing too well, so I'm just gonna use some garlic powder, some ground cumin, curry powder, dried thyme, a large can of diced tomatoes, some green lentils, you can use brown lentils if you have those. Four cups of broth. I have some leftover veggie broth here. I'm also going to need two cups of water, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. This recipe calls for kale, but I have some spinach that really needs to be used up, so we are going to use some of this. And if you have some fresh lemons, use those lemons, but I am just going to use this lemon juice. Now I'm going to chop my vegetables. I'll let that olive oil start warming up on the stove and then we'll get to making the soup. Ooh, these uh, carrots are on their last legs. They're a little floppy. <laughs> this one's much better. I haven't made lentil soup in three years since the Olympic. No, it's been four years. Has it been four years? Wow, yeah, it's been four years. During the Olympics four years ago, and the reason I know that is because at the time I was plant-based was when I started my job at the factory that it became a lot harder for me to prepare my food. Now, I've not made lentil soup in four years. I think that I just kind of ate it a little bit too much back then. Has anybody else tried a plant-based diet before? I gained like 20 pounds in like three months. <laughs> Just because it wasn't even that I was that much of a junk food vegan. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of was. I have noticed, though, in the last four years that there are so many more vegan options out there. We actually prefer um, field roast sausage over regular sausage. They've got some good products. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using this knife and not my chef's knife lately, it's because I really need to sharpen my knife. Now, leave a comment down below what the weather is like in your area right now. We're like on the brink of spring. We had a few warm days. It's supposed to be cold for, I think, like a week, like in the 30s, 40s. And then hopefully it'll warm up after that. I'm not sure. Now, these onions aren't in that small of chunks, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that I'm going to be the only one that eats this. Now, don't forget to put your veggie scraps in a bag and then toss them into the freezer so you can make some broth. All right, let's go see if that olive oil is shimmering. Now, I don't know if you can see it on screen, but there's a little bit of movement in the olive oil, so I'm going to add in my diced carrots and diced onion. Now this is on a low to medium heat. And I'm just going to let these cook for about five minutes till those carrots start to soften and those onions become translucent. Now we are going to add in our garlic. Of course, I only have garlic powder. Our cumin her curry powder, our thyme, a 
We are going to cook this all up. We'll get those spices really fragrant. That oil will really bring out the flavor of those spices. Now I have these diced tomatoes. I did lightly drain these. I'm going to bring that heat up and I'm going to let these tomatoes really meld with that. Meld? Melt? I'm confused. <laughs> Meld is a word. Okay, yes, I feel better about myself. This looks so beautiful on camera. Now I have washed and drained my lentils and made sure that there was no like rocks or anything in them. I'm going to add them. And then I also am going to add four cups of broth. and two cups of water. Now I just added six cups of veggie broth just because I had six cups on hand. I substituted that for my water. Mm. I also have these red pepper flakes. Now I am going to let this simmer. If you're wondering why I always use this lid, it's like dented and everything. It's just a lot easier for me to see it. So, although it doesn't fit perfectly, it's perfectly fine. Use what you have, make whatever you have in your kitchen work for you. I know a lot of people get very frustrated because they do not have like a fully stocked kitchen of all the kitchen gadgets that, you know, your mom or your grandma might have. But, but when you are buying all of your household appliances and gadgets, that stuff gets very expensive. So do not expect yourself to have a fully stocked kitchen. Honestly, let's be for real, probably until your 40s. Because <laughs> I know even I do not have everything I need. So we're going to raise this heat, bring it up to a boil, then we're going to cover it and let it sit for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, it's been 25 minutes. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to take two cups of this and I'm going to blend it up. My immersion blender broke, so I'm going to bring this over to a food processor. Well, oh, my blender is looking rough. Okay, I just used the food puree setting, which I think was like a minute. Wow, this tastes amazing. Going to add that puree mix back in. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. All right, I'm going to put it back on low. Wow. Now I'm going to take half a bag of the spinach and add that in and then I'm just going to take the other half of this bag and I do this quite often I'm not going to use it up so I'll just toss it in the freezer just like this and then I'll add it to another soup this says it's supposed to cook for five more minutes but that's for kale or I think like collard greens or something but I'm just using spinach so it will probably only take like two minutes. What I will do right now though, is I'm going to take this bread, I'm going to cut me up a slice. I'm going to throw this in the oven and toast it. Now let's eat. Now I got a little bit of bread and butter. And that is our soup. 
Now it's said to add a little bit of lemon juice in it and I forgot to do that. So what I'm going to do is just add the tiniest hint. Mm, that lemon juice just brightens it right up. Now are you a burn your mouth kind of person? Or are you patient? <laughs> I burn my mouth like three times a week because I am impatient. Oh my gosh. Well, Cookie and Kate, you have a winner here. Mmm. Wow. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to the rest of it. Then that is lunch. And I'll see you when I make some dinner. All right, I just seasoned up my shrimp and my smoked sausage. I'm letting them thaw out the rest of the way. Now I have some frozen corn here. I'm going to break these peppers up a little bit. That's what's nice about these peppers is when they're frozen, they're super easy to break up. And I have no plans with this. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of throwing my own recipe together. So while the oven preheats, I'm going to toss this in there because my corn is still frozen. And I really want to cook these peppers down. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. In about 10 minutes, I'll flip everything and then I'll boost that heat up to 425 and add in my sausage and shrimp. It's been in about 10 minutes. I just flipped them around. I'm going to add them back in for another, you know what? Yeah. Sorry if you can hear my husband on the phone. I'm just yeah. going to add everything in. <laughs> going to toss this in the oven for 10 minutes flip it all around and put it in for 10 minutes more All right, my rice wasn't done, so I had to toss this back into the oven on warm once it cooled down a bit. So I've been picking at this. Got some rice here. Yum. And I'm just going to add just going to add some of this corn. And that is what's for dinner. This dinner was absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And then I also took you along as I made breakfast the next morning. I am going to toast up a couple pieces of this bread and I'm going to fry up some eggs as well.
after I flip it, I'm just going to salt and pepper it real quick and take it right off. And that is what's for breakfast. It's my favorite part. Yum. Thank you so much for coming along on another little what I eat in a day video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Make sure your notification bell's on so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching.